Welcome to Ucanic today here in Ucanic. We have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. This has the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine in it and we're going to go over the process to be able to replace the spark plugs on this vehicle. So to start with, because we're doing anything with the electrical, we've disconnected our negative battery cable and we have that set aside so that it won't connect there. And then we have now have access to do the work. So first we'll need to pop this little cover off and we have our ignition coil unit right there. And so we need to unhook this electric connector over here and this has a safety lock so we need to press the tab and push that little, uh, this is purple, could be red, um, and then press the clamp down and be able to slide that connector back and out of the way. Now, um, these are a T30 bolt slash screw. That's what you need to remove these. So remove those, then pull out your ignition coil. And we want to make sure we've got all the boots. This one happens to be still stuck in there. So able to pull it out. But it's got a lot of corrosion and most of the the boot portion is broken here, so we'll definitely need to get a new one of these. Set that aside. But now we can uh, remove our spark plugs. I'm going to blow that out. The spark plug hole, this one's got a little bit of dirt and debris from the way that spark was using. So I'm going to blow that out with some air, get the uh, things to come up, and then we'll, we'll get back to taking this out. Okay, so now... Um, the, the holes are cleaned out. I use some air um, to be able to blow them out so that we don't have any debris in there. So we've got our four um, spark plugs and we're going to go ahead and remove those. It is a size uh, 5 8 slash 16. So a 16 millimeter or a 5 8 um, socket is what you're going to need to be able to get these out. Yeah, so that one's a bit dry, rusty, crusty. So, um, take a little care on that one. This one came out perfect. And I like to look at um, the spark plugs themselves when they come out, see how well they're burning to see if they uh, have a fairly even burn. All in all, the burn doesn't look all too bad. They're fairly uh, about the same, uh, consistent. I mean, this top one is a little bit rusty crusty, so clearly a little bit of moisture has been getting in there and causing some issues there. And I gotta double check. Pretty sure we still have the, uh, the crush washer on this. Uh, we wanna make sure it's not down in there. I don't believe it is, but um, we'll get ready to be able to put our new spark plugs in and we'll, we'll get there. Um, we are ready to be able to put our spark plugs in and so we will go through that process. So we've got our new spark plugs. The spark plugs when you buy them uh, per the vehicle, the gap should be preset at the factory. So we don't need to do anything with the gap. You may, you may find it to check, but we don't need to do anything with the gap. We just need to use a, uh, our socket if you have a spark plug socket or not, and what that does has a little rubber bushing in here and it's able to lower this spark plug in there without it um, hitting and, and smashing the, uh, messing up the, ta the, uh, the gap itself. If you don't have the uh, a spark plug socket, you use like a old rubber hose. It's just a little bit that can be stuck onto the top or maybe an old boot from one and to be able to get it down and start and get it started in there. All 
All right, get it basically hand tight, and then um, we torque these to spec, and the torque is. The torque here is 14 foot pounds, is all we torque these to spec. Right there. And see, we're, what we're doing is we're crushing the little crup, crush washer that's in there that makes the seal that we need to keep the compression and to keep the spark the way it is. Now, um, I'm sure you're going to hear it. I do not put anti seize on it. If they are the silver or nickel looking color, you don't put anti seize on it per the manufacturer because this is a type of thread lubricant. If it was a black one or, um, or like a dull color, then maybe you would. But what will happen if you put anti seize on these is then you over torque your spark plugs and you have the potential to uh, strip out the, uh, the threads themselves. And so you just repeat it for the four spark plugs, um, putting them in, torquing them to spec, and then we'll be able to put the ignition um, coil pack back on. All right, they're all a torque and spec. Good to go on that. And then next, you'll take your ignition coil set. And this is all one huge ignition coil to put in there. Cylinder one, two, three, and four. I go ahead and put a little bit of fresh dielectric grease in there. And then be able to install line it up, press it down into place, put in the T13 bolt, and then tighten those into place. Just snug, they don't need to be crazy tight. And then make sure you make your electric connection back here. You can put your uh, cover back on and then be able to reconnect your negative battery cable and uh, um, be able to go. Start your engine and drive. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.